And welcome to a special episode of Physical Media Format here on the Movie Dog Channel. The reason why it's a special episode, I did not plan on ever making this episode for this season. I just happened to walk in the thrift store and there it was. The 1985 comedy Teen Wolf that starred Michael J. Fox at uh, the very beginning height of his uh, uh, movie career. As we all know that uh, just prior to this movie was the poster that you see in the back drop, uh, Back to the Future came out. Now the movie, now Teen Wolf, he filmed Teen Wolf months before he was even in Back to the Future. By that time they were scouting locations for Back to the Future while they were filming in Pasadena. And you know, if you watch the documentaries on Back to the Future, he speaks about, you know, you know, really thinking that'd be cool to be in that movie and at the time Eric Zoltz was in Back to the Future and of course we all know what happened. But again here in Team Wolf, it's uh you know, one of those uh, urban myth stories that that are that's included in this movie. There's there's a glimpse of a guy pulling his pants up and looked like he had re removed himself um, during he was a back one of those backdrop characters, an extra at the end of the uh, basketball game, and you <laughs> you'd seen Michael J. Fox's father walking down and greeting his son after the victory, and of course you see a guy look like he's adjusting himself and zipping himself up and. Um, now I do know that theatrically that was put in, but they and I do believe that the uh, the shot in question was in some of the original original um, video rental releases. Um, this is an original one of the original copies of um, of the film on VHS. Um, I watched it and it. It, it was a you know almost looks the same as it is right now um, I don't know and a lot of the uh, newer versions that it's a much more tighter cut of that scene you know so I'm not really sure I've got to eventually probably find it on DVD or blu-ray and see the comparisons but again this is the original Paramount home video release uh, of course, it was released through uh, Atlantic Releasing Corporation, which is no, it's now defunct, and also spawned a sequel called Teen Wolf 2, which is about T-O-O, -O, starred Jason Bankman, and that is considered one of the worst sequels ever made. But, um, again, uh, the film got re-released uh, several years later on our KRS video with the same packaging, um, except with the... Uh, Paramount home video logo miss um, no longer there, but um, MGM now owns the rights to the films, and of course MTV ended up having for seven seasons their own Teen Wolf show, which was based loosely, uh, done a little bit more in the style of you know Buffy and Supernatural, um, and in itself it's about to have a movie premiere on Paramount Plus. So, but. Enough of all this uh, talk. Let's get right into what the show's about as we take a look at, of course, Michael J. Fox. Really cool looking poster. Always thought, I always liked this poster. Um, and of course, you know, Paramount always had the uh, the font of the movie on the side with the uh, white walls. Of course, on the top, Paramount home video logo. And of course, the uh, serial number indication of how much how long the movie is what year that's in color and it's close cast that right there became a big <laughs> icon in the 80s close captioning for the hearing impaired okay here on the side of course putting the uh, barcodes on the side which I always thought was better than having it in the back of course Michael J Fox some of the actors and actresses you see on here were, you know, character actors that went on to star on television and other small films. Of course, there's Michael J. Fox as the Teen Wolf, Scott Howard. And, um, again, here we go with the, uh, the traditional grayish, battleship grayish type of bluish purple hint on the logos of the uh, stickers. 
you actually see here and everything, you can tell that uh, this was also um, a video rental. Stone, what does that say? Stone Station Pharmacy in uh, La Orange, Illinois. Um, again, you know, a lot of video rentals had their own little substations and before there was more mainstream video stores, you can go into a Pickwick or a any type of convenience store and they'd have you know video rentals uh, or places like uh, what was to us Curtis Mathis which was the equivalent of uh, rent a center you know we'd go in and rent movies from there and then until you know movie stores you know mom and pops started bringing them all out and the corporate entity started buying the video stores and you know basically ruining the market but again with time gone by which uh, I hope one day comes back. I have I'm pretty confident that you know you'll you'll see some type of video stores more and more. Not as big key as, but I think more mom and pop owned video stores will give you the variety of whatever you want to watch in whatever format. I'm pretty confident. If I had the money, hell, I'd do it. <laughs> but I'm not. I don't have the money. Don't have money at all. My wall is about as empty as the politician's brain. That's my political talk for the day, folks. <laughs> okay. But also, real quick, there was going to be a Team Wolf 3 back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s, and it was going to star Eliza Milano, but I guess because Team Wolf 2 did so poorly that they decided to back out and they kind of redeveloped it into Teen Witch. And um, again, I don't think anybody wanted to see a hairy Alyssa Milano. I don't know. I just don't think I want to see that. But anyway, folks, um, let me know. Have you seen a VHS copy that does contain the so-called infamous footage uh, at the end of this film? As I said, I've examined this. I did not see it, but except like it looked like the guy just put himself back in. And um, again, I have not seen any of the newer edits that have... Uh, come out in recent years I haven't seen the movie in about 10 years since since yesterday and um, I watched it on VHS this very copy and I haven't seen it on this set DVD in a very long time but again folks what is your fond memories about this movie have you seen it have you even seen it if you know what I'm talking about please comment down below no pun intended and be sure, down below, hit that notification bell and subscribe if you hadn't. The subscribe button's down there. And hit the thumbs up, folks. We really, really need those numbers up, folks, to help this channel and help our cause. All right, folks. Well, that's physical media format here on the Movie Dogs channel. And don't forget, you know, Halloween's just around the corner. Let's get ready for a really fun time of uh, scaring people. And you're going to see a lot of uh, Halloween themed and stuff like that here on the Movie Dogs channel in the weeks to come. All right. That's it for me now. That's the Movie Dogs. Thanks for watching. Please keep on watching. Bye.